We've been in the car for two hours. You going to tell me why we're here? Because we need to get there. Come on, Jim. Be patient. I told you it's a surprise. I want you to find out for yourself. Or don't you like surprises? No, I don't. I'm trying to make Santa Esperanza safe and secure. Surprise implies a lack of security. I got all the security I need in this gun. If you say so. Do as I say and you'll see. Take it from Jim Dockers. Because you're my friend, right? Don't let your guard down. Have you heard of the Voduna cult? You mean voodoo? Dolls and needles? Yes and no. It's different varieties of the same thing. The Vodun religion from East Africa. In Cuba, they call it Vodou. In Haiti, it's voodoo. Santa Esperanza had its own version. A little community that lived in these woods, no more than 200 people, I reckon. Had? Right. They say practically all of them died. A sort of civil war sparked up by betrayal. Betrayal between friends. Really? What kind of betrayal? The Bodunas place particular importance on a person's name. They chose a name for themselves when they reached adulthood, and they only revealed it to their partners and their descendants. Is that so? It is. The legend says that while he was out hunting with his right-hand man, the chief of the Bodunas was attacked by... Not such a dumb idea. I wish no one knew my name. Well, for the Bodunas, it wasn't that simple. Ah, shit. Help me with this, Elliot. One, two, three. They had different names for it. Neither did use. Nicknames similar to Indian names. Anyway, while he was out hunting, the chief of the tribe was attacked by a bear. A bear? There were never any bears in Santa Esperanza. Why are you talking in the past tense? I wasn't joking when I told you not to let your guard down. Shit. The chief's wounds look fatal, so he confided in his best friend, the best hunter in the tribe and whispered his true name to him. The hunter left him in the woods, went back to the village, and told the news to the chieftain's wife and children. Now well, that's tough. However badly wounded he was, he was his partner. You can't leave your partner in the woods, whatever state he's in. Let's hope neither of us has to make that kind of decision today. Sullivan River. Flows into the Donovan Dam, I think. I didn't think geography was your department. Sometimes I like to dabble in things that aren't officially my department. So I see. According to Baduna law, from the moment the hunter whispered the dead husband's name to the chief's wife, he would take his place. In what sense? In the eyes of the tribe, he became him. He had to take on his role, fulfill his duties, raise his children, and sleep with his wife. Damn. Should be right here. What? The sign tells us which way we have to go. Must be hidden in the undergrowth. You look for it. I'll stand guard. No, I'll stand guard.
Huh. This burned out a long time ago. Weeks, I guess. What kind of hunter abandons his trap when he leaves the woods? Animal attack, no doubt about it. Here's the sign. Looks like it was knocked over by a poacher's prey. Well spotted. Let's go on. You taking me to a church? It's never a bad time to confess your sins. Yeah. Ah! You are blocking my target. Ah, sorry. What's wrong with you, Dockers? What's the problem? Old age. I can't compete with a young marksman like you. You're not going after it? Let's not push our luck. I don't want our story to end up like the Baduna chieftain and the hunter. Okay, let's go. They built the chapel after the massacre of the Baduna people. You still haven't told me how that happened. The hunter became the chief and moved in with his family. It wasn't the first time that kind of thing had happened. But one thing did happen for the first time. The wounds the bear had inflicted on the real chief were less serious than they seemed. A few days later, he came back and claimed what was his. But the hunter wasn't so sure. He was the chieftain now. According to Vaduna law, he was right, wasn't he? The old chief had given his name and his identity to the hunter. He wasn't who he was before. He had no right to demand it back. Sometimes the law isn't everything. At least that's what many of the Vadunas thought. The rest of the village didn't see it that way. The Badunas were split into supporters of the new chief and the old one, and, well, you know how it all ended. Elliot, I have a problem. I think Delphine is cheating on me with another man. Whoa. Some nights when I lie down next to her in bed, her hair smells of gunpowder. Someone who regularly handles guns is touching her. Do you have any idea who it could be? I'm sorry, Jim. I should have told you before. I don't even know how it started. Jim, please, put the gun down. Yeah, Jim, put it down. You're late. You know why they built this chapel? 
We know. Typical Americans. They find that a bunch of crazies from some wacky religion have killed each other and they build them a church, huh? <laughs> As if the dead give a damn about their Christian God. Jim, what's going on? I told you, it's a surprise. Who's going in? He is. Me? Trust me. Believe in Godness. Yeah, although I doubt splashing your face with water has much to do with it. Someone had some fun at these critters' expense. prostitute who repented and washed the feet of Christ. I have a gun pointing at your head. I could kill you right now. I'm not surprised. Today is International Point a Gun at My Head Day. I won't shoot. I'm here to help you. Yeah? Look under your knees. What is this? To you, just a bunch of scribbles. But to someone who knows what he's looking at, it could be prison bars for Capone. What, he hates reading so much he sees a book as a prison sentence? Very funny, Ness. Your financial specialist Garrison, you'll know what to do. Who are you? What do you care? I'm serving you Capone's head on a golden plate. Don't ask questions. Just beat it, Ness. The sooner you set Garrison to work, the sooner all this will be over. God, I hate cops. Carmine? Please, no. Why? He, he threatened my kids. Capone? No, you're his right-hand man, his chief executioner. He's lost his mind. He suspects everyone and everything. He has to be stopped. Don't kill me, for my kids' sake. You remember Don Prescott? 33 years on the force, my first partner. You left his face in such a mess, they had to make him a clay mask so his family could look at him at the funeral. Capone wanted him dead. What about Amber Fisher, 15 years old? You held her prisoner for three days. She committed suicide only hours before we came to rescue her. I don't need to remind you what you did to her, do I? I was following orders. No. Capone orders you to kill. You improvise. You enjoy it. You can't do this. Elliot, don't do it. Kill an unarmed man and it'll haunt you your whole life. I deserve a trial. We're cops, not killers. Jesus, Ness, weren't you? Control your anger. Weren't you the most honest man in Santa Esperanza? Only in public. You don't know what you just started. No matter what monster you're facing. Next time you find yourself in a situation like that, control your anger or you'll be lost forever.
Thank you, Ness. Thank you. You saved me a bullet. And take it easy, Carmine. I've saved the ones meant for your children, too. Don't worry about the damage I made you do to your beloved boss. I'll make it up to him. After all, he needs a new right-hand man now. Thanks for the book.